Good morning, guys. I have to share with you my moment of success. Do you see it right, right in the center there? You know what that is? That is my Mexican petunia. Look, it survived. I'm going to come in close. Another success for me this year, you guys. I am so pleased because they survived the squirrels. Oh, good day. Good day. You know, I've been back and forth with whether I should just empty out those super tunia pots, but something I don't often show you guys because I just don't think about it is the view from this side here. So they might look empty from the top, but when you're looking at my porch from here, I mean, they're just falling through. So, you know, I've answered my own question on that. As long as they've got pink showing, they are staying up or staying planted. You know, it's just really pretty. It's one of those things, it's kind of like a little hidden thing I didn't really think about when I first planted them, but I love that. I have a cat that likes to play in the dirt. I'm hoping he'll leave these little glass beads alone, but I don't know. I, I don't know. If nothing else, maybe it'll look, it'll look prettier, right? <laughs> I might have too many in there. We'll see how that works, though. I gotta do something to keep him out of these. It's not Bob, it's Simon. That's the case. Well, you saw in the last video, I had these overwatered, so I am not gonna water them. I'm just gonna put these little, you know, little glass beads on there. Look, and I have some extra extras here, so I should check my other plants to see what needs protecting from my cat. Look, look, the firemen are here. Apparently, it's time for a little fire hydrant maintenance, which is fine for me. I've got a little eye candy. Either he thinks my cats in the cat tree next to me are cute, or I have been caught. <laughs> Laugh at me all you want, but you know if it was happening in front of your front door, you would be watching too. <laughs> just looked at my window again. <laughs> my garden could use some of that water. Hi guys, thank you for the 10 minute distraction this morning. After a two week drought, we finally got a day full of rain yesterday. So I got up early this morning so I could get all the weeds out. As you could see too, they came out really easy. I didn't even need the shovel.